Hello and welcome aboard the Aqua Patio 240 Elite OB. This is a triple tune package, means performance is going to meet luxury. Let's take a look. We're up here in the bow that Aqua Patio Elite. I want to show you how much seating we've got up here. The capacity on this boat is actually 14 passengers, so uh, everybody's going to have a comfortable place to sit. These beautiful lounges up front here, uh, this port side lounge, those beautiful touches with the upholstery. Uh, everything is just so classy. Aqua Patio logo sewn into the headrest, beautiful piping, tons of storage under these boats. Of course, we've got two forward facing lounges, uh, just all about relaxation up here. Uh, of course, we've got the uh, removable uh, armrest cup holders, um, those beautiful uh, contrasting colors in the upholstery are absolutely spectacular. I just want to show you this uh, easy to operate lift and drop gate system. If you've ever fumbled with uh, other types of gates uh, with latches and feel like you're going to pinch your fingers, that's just not going to happen on this boat. Uh, also, the rail skin, uh, this pewter colored rail skin is so striking on the water, you're just not going to believe it. Uh, but I wanted to show you how big we have this forward deck. Of course, this beautiful carpet that's actually exclusive to, uh, to Aqua Patio. Uh, goes all the way to the forward deck, um, seamless, very easy to take care of, just absolutely beautiful. Um, this year for model year 2013, we've got uh, corner badges now on the Aqua Patio with the big logo, pull-up cleat. These are stainless steel uh, corner badges. They're just outstanding. This boat's configured with three entry gates, and I wanted to show you the side gate here. Of course, it's that same lift and drop. Uh, easy to operate gate, but when you pull up to the uh, dock and you've got passengers coming on and off and bringing gear on and off of this boat, remember this boat holds up to 14 people, so you're going to have a lot of stuff for the day on the water. Uh, they're really going to appreciate the stable and secure entry point onto the boat. When you've got a big group of people out on the water all day, one thing that's really at a premium is shade uh, coming out of the water. Want to get a little rest time in the uh, back of the boat, uh, take a little refuge under this incredibly large bimini top we've got here. The uh, AP240 Elite is a triple tune boat, 25 inch pontoons, and one of the advantages you have to that is the fact that you actually get an in-floor uh, ski locker. Uh, on this boat, with those 25 inch pontoons, a very deep amazing amount of storage. And speaking of storage, this boat comes with a dedicated storage area for a cooler here. As you can see, the cooler comes with the boat as well. This is all part of a uh, full fiberglass helm station here. Um, it's not going to uh, weather uh, like some of the molded ones would do. Um, it's just part of the boat. It's very strong and sturdy. It's not going to flex. It's always going to look this beautiful. Let's take a look at how the helm station is laid out. As we talked about, it's a solid uh, base structure, is uh, fiberglass. We've got this beautiful molded piece here for the dashboard. The tinted windshield here is going to keep the sun off of that dashboard as much as possible. Easy to read, high contrast gauges with these protective hoods. Just everything's just beautifully laid out. All your switches right at your fingertips, stainless cup holder. We've got an optional uh, stereo on this boat, which is a Sony Fusion uh, head unit here. The secret behind this radio is that you can actually put your own iPod or iPhone in here, slide it into that little uh, case there, and protect it when you're out on the water. This steering wheel here is uh, adjustable steering wheel. Got the Sea Star hydraulic assist steering system, it's, even though it's a triple tune. It's very, very easy to drive. Really feel like you have control even in uh, high speed turns. Got an optional Lowrance GPS system here. Again, all your gauges right there. And there's one thing I wanted to point out here. In addition to the convenient 12 volt receptacle, which is perfect for charging that cell phone, um, we've also got a master power switch on this boat. So if you've ever gone, taken your boat out of the water or left your boat, and come back to a dead battery, this is gonna prevent that. Simply flip that one switch off, all the electronics go off in the boat. Also got a great convenient um, throttle position there. 
Uh, when you're driving this boat, you're really going to feel like the captain of the ship. You'll notice that the helm station is raised several inches, and what that's going to do for you as the driver of the boat is allow you to see over the heads of everyone sitting in the forward seating area. Just take a look at this uh, captain's chair. That beautiful upholstery brought back here as well. Overstuffed headrest, those beautiful stitching, bolsters on your back and for your legs. It's going to really give you that sense that this chair is keeping you in place, hugging you right there. Aqua patios are all designed with those extras in mind that you've noticed already. Uh, this boat, in fact, is designated as a 240, but the actual overall length is 26 feet 10 inches. That's a 102 inch beam, plenty of seating and storage like we talked about. Take a look at this beautiful cockpit lounge. Again, that magnificent upholstery, those beautiful design touches, double stitch seams. Everything's designed for a long life of entertaining on the water. Uh, those extra touches like the trash receptacles located directly under the headrests. Get all those wrappers and cans that you accumulate during a day on the water, stow them in there, dump it out when you get back to the dock. Um, also, incredible amount of storage back here. Another one of those removable armrests and stainless steel cup holders. But just take a look at the incredible amount of storage on this boat. All your life jackets, all your water sports gear, towels. They're gonna stay nice and dry in there. It's a very clean, uh, easy to care for locker. Uh, but take a look at this rear facing lounge. A six footer could easily uh, spot people on tubes back here, uh, water sports, anything that's going on behind the boat. It's a great view, great spotting point. Um, also, going back to the rear part of the cockpit lounge, take a look at how massive it is. Um, Armrests, speakers, uh, cup holders, everywhere you look, but just a wonderful place to uh, relax when you're out on the water. Of course, if you're going to have some snacks during the day, which we all will, of course, this beautiful wood grain table, inset, cup holders, this raised edge around the outside of the table, so if you put a be your belongings on here, they're not going to slide off. It's very sturdy because it's got two pedestal bases uh, instead of just one. Plus, the angle of this table really allows for a nice flow of traffic between the back of the boat and up toward the bow. We talked about this beautiful carpet that's exclusive to Aqua Patio, of course, but take a look now as we move back to the rear deck. You see a transition from the carpet, beautiful transition strip here, right into that teak decking. What a touch of class that is. You're not gonna see that on the other boats. Now let's take a look at this special seating configuration we've got on the rear deck here, the Aqua Patio Elite. Um, really sharp rear bench here in that aqua patio logo sewn in and you may notice some strange things about the way that this uh, bench is angled we're going to show you that in just a second but for now enjoy this rear facing bench anybody back here doing water sports a very comfortable place to cruise of course everybody back here has got their own cup holders the uh, speaker system the polk audio speakers right here for your enjoyment the remote control for the stereo here is very convenient for the folks sitting back in the uh, rear seat the back seat on the cockpit lounge and that rear bench that we saw a second ago, actually there's a switch here that folds those two backrests down and creates an enormous sun pad as you can see back here. Half of it's even still covered by the bimini top, but you can really enjoy stretching out back here while you're drifting on the water, just enjoying a beautiful day outside. We're back on the rear deck of the 240 Elite and you can see how much room we've got back here. This platform is just expansive, again with that beautiful teak uh, option, it's just magnificent. And here's something that's really great for this year, brand new, uh, that we designed in-house. This is a ladder um, that we've listened to you guys about how it's a little tougher to get in the boat sometimes, so uh, a new ladder design, it's about time. How about this? with this nice curve to it, flips down into the water, very easy, nice angle to climb up, thick treads, can be very easy to get yourself back up in the water with these handy, beautiful stainless steel handles. And the, the latch here actually allows you to pull the ladder back up. And talking about uh, stainless steel, it's a brand new design, uh, designed internally for Aqua Patio uh, exclusively. Uh, not only is it very beautiful, this uh, gleaming stainless steel here, put your uh, tow rope on here and pull your tubers or wakeboarders or skiers, but it's also extremely strong. So if you've ever wondered about 
uh, whether you can pull multiple uh, passengers on the tubes, if you ever had a doubt about it, this is the tow bar that you want. It's extremely strong and beautiful. This 240 Elite is actually uh, rigged with an Evinrude 150 horsepower E-Tech engine. Uh, that's actually the maximum horsepower on this boat. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this look at the Aqua Patio 240 Elite Outboard. Some amazing features on this boat from that beautiful upholstery, triple tune for high performance, and that beautiful Elite Lounge. Till next time, this is Captain Steve.